Police and government leaders in our city and cities all over the country are bracing tonight for the release of police body camera footage showing the fatal beating of 29-year-old Tyree Nichols. Five Memphis police officers have been fired and charged with second-degree murder in that attack. And his death has some pointing out uh, obvious differences between this and other instances of alleged police brutality in communities of color, as the accused officers in this case are black. Our investigative reporter Tracy Wilkins has been digging into the research today and what role race might play among officers accused of police brutality. Tracy joins us in the studio with what she found. Tracy? Yeah, oftentimes, not always, but often, when cases of police brutality make national news, the victims are black and the officers at the center of those investigations are white. But researchers studying this issue tell me that whether the officers are black or white, the motivations for officers who engage in brutalization are often the same. University of Maryland sociologist and Brookings Institute fellow Rashawn Ray has spent years studying the actions of officers of different races, sex, backgrounds, and ages, and has found that when it comes to race, there's little difference in how police officers see the people they police. We've conducted research with hundreds of police officers with our virtual reality training program. And what we found is that officers' attitudes, regardless of race, are not all that different. Black and white officers kind of think similarly, at least as far as thinking about police behavior and criminality, and then their behavior is not all that different either. Ray says that includes officer perceptions of black people. He is working to publish his research on the issue, but his testimony before Congress in 2021 caught the attention of D.C. Delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton. Uh, this is the kind of testimony we need when we decide what to do so we don't take race into account where it's not relevant. What happens to these black officers? Are they punished the same as white officers when they're found guilty of these kinds of acts? We know that black people just in the criminal justice system are more likely to be charged, convicted, and sentenced longer. When it comes to this case, the speed at which this is happening, have people thinking about that, saying, look, these officers were fired very quickly. There was very little due process, but at the same time, if this particular video is as egregious as people are saying, comparing it to Rodney King, I think a lot of people think this should be happening. And instead, what should be happening is not necessarily white officers or in this case, black officers being penalized less, but white officers being held to the same accountability standards as these black officers were. When police abuse their power, they should be held accountable swiftly. Former Anne Arundel County Police Commander T.J. Smith agreed, saying it's police culture and the way they interact with communities of color that must be addressed. We've seen more highlights of white officers harming unarmed black men. To see five black officers, five black officers do this, it just creates even more tension in that com police and community relationship. But it, it, it also shows these are people who infiltrated the profession. Some evidence that having police officers live where they work can make a difference. Science Magazine found black officers in Chicago were less likely to engage in brutality against other blacks because more of the department's black officers were from the communities they served. Jim? Interesting insights there, Tracy. Thank you. And we want to take a moment now to recognize Tracy as the newest member of our News 4i team. She's long been a member of the News 4 team, most recently, of course, as the founder and chief of our Prince George's County Bureau. We are so thrilled that you're going to be joining us and putting your investigative reporting skills to use in this way. You can count on plenty of reports from Tracy. She doesn't sleep. She's always <laughs> churning out the content. <laughs> this is my amazing. 20th year at WRC, and I am excited to do the work with the I-Team. Looking forward to what we do. We can't wait. You know how I found out about it. I think it was a Saturday morning. I watched your Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nobody told me. You got to tune into her Facebook. We are right. celebrating your successes and your very long and healthy career here, my so friend. Thank you. you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.